Hey friends, welcome back to my channel once again. Stella Stevens, starlet of the 60s and nutty professor actress, dies at 84. She also sparkled in the ballad of Cable Hogue, Too Late Blues, The Poison Adventure, The Silencers and Girls, Girls, Girls. Stella Stevens, the screen siren of the 1960s, who brought sweet sexiness to such films as The Nutty Professor, Too Late Blues and The Ballad of Cable Hogue has died. She was 84. Stevens died Friday in Los Angeles. Her son, actor, producer, director Andrew Stevens told The Hollywood Reporter she had been in hospice for quite some time with stage 7 Alzheimer's, he said. Shining brightest in light comedies, the blonde, blue-eyed actress appeared as a shy beauty contestant from Montana in Vincent Minnelli's The Courtship of Eddie's Father, portrayed a headstrong nun in Where Angels Go, Trouble Follows, opposite Rosalind Russell and frolicked with the fun-loving Dean Martin in two films. The Matt Hunt spy spoofed The Silencers and How to Save a Marriage and Ruin Your Life. Stevens also starred opposite Elvis Presley in Girls, 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 a movie she said she detested. Her signature role, however, came in The Nutty Professor, produced, directed, co-written and starring Jerry Lewis as the nice but nerdy Julius F. Kelp, a college chemistry professor who invents a potent cocktail that transforms him into swinging ladies' man buddy love. Her character, the quote Stella Purdy, finds herself attracted to love but also sees something in Kelp. I'm basically a comedian, I always have been, she told Skippy Louis in 1992 interview. The sex in my films has always been comedy sex, a lot of the serious dramatic roles I've played. I've thought to myself, oh god, they were daddy. I like the pacing of comedy, the excitement of it. Stevens, though, did not stand out in drama. She convinced jazzman Bobby Darin to abandon his idealistic dreams in John Cassavetes. Too late blues and played hoes with hearts of gold and rage and Sam. Tuck in past the ballad of Cable Hawk, respectively. In the classic disaster film The Poison Adventure, Stevens endured a damp, grueling shoot as Ernest Bornine's determined ex streetwalker wife performing many of her own stunts. Steven, who appeared three times in Playboy magazine, had an explicit love scene with Jim Brown in Slaughter. Some movie goers in the South did not approve of their coupling and fought a furious battle with Tamara Dobson in Cleopatra Jones and the Casino of Gold. Stevens desperately wanted to direct later in her career but found that overcoming her reputation as a sex pot to be too daunting. This has been a detriment to people taking me too seriously, she told Louis. She did manage to direct her son in the ranch and he directed her in the terror within the zoo. Stevens lived for more than a decade on a ranch in Washington State and had a romantic relationship with Bob Kulik, a guitarist and music producer who worked with Meat Love, Hugh Lead, Motorhead, Diana Ross and Kiss from 1983 until his death in 2020. Some members also include her grandchildren, Amelia, Aubrey and Samuel. That's all for now. Subscribe for more.